I want to talk about the newness. And what I'm talking about with the newness. When I was a kid, I couldn't wait to reach a certain age so I could get a job. And I very much look forward to getting a job, learning how to drive. There was these expectations. There was these things that I wanted out of life. There was these things I wanted to do and achieve. And that's not the way that things are going at the moment. That's not the way that the world is set up. Go ahead to the Google machine and look up the jobs that young people want to have. Used to be people wanted to be a police officer, a fireman, a doctor, an attorney. Uh, now, 90 something percent of these kids want to be a social media influencer. 90% want to be an influencer. 90% want to have a YouTube channel or a combination of a YouTube channel, TikTok channel, Instagram page, Facebook page, and they want to be an Insta a person, an influencer. They want to be a person that can build an audience that can create a lot of, I guess, drama, uh, intrigue. And this is what a lot of people want to do. And I'm seeing a huge, 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 huge move toward that mainframe. And I'm going to explain to you why. 2009, August 6th, I started this YouTube channel. And in the beginning, YouTube was very, very different than what it is today. And uh, honestly, because at the time, I believe I am 56, so that was 14, I was 41 years old when I started this YouTube channel and there were not people my age doing YouTube. I don't even know if Instagram was around. I'm not sure. Facebook has gone through many, many, many different changes. But I can tell you as a person who has achieved various levels of being an influencer, putting up content, building out things that the influencer lifestyle is very different than any other lifestyle that one can have of any other business. Because once you become an influencer, your whole job is to put up winning content. That's your job. And I can tell you, um, other than when I had the car rental business, I've not worked 40 hour weeks. I, if I had to really dial it down, let me give you an example. I wake up whenever I wake up. I don't have an alarm clock. Uh, typically, uh, I get up whenever I get up. I go to bed whenever I want to go to bed. So there is no cur curriculum or a schedule or there's none of that. I would say my work week is 25 to 35 hours. That's what I would post it at. And then there were some weeks I've worked seven days a week. Those weeks would be 40 plus hours, but typically I am not working a 40 hour week. I am not, and here's the thing, because I, I'm an influencer plus, I do influence, but I've always done other things. Give you an example. When I started the YouTube channel, 
2012, I mean, a million five, I literally think I had four or 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. So for me, the effort wasn't to build this YouTube channel. It was to keep doing the things I was doing to bring in that kind of money that I was bringing in. So that's what I kept doing. So the influence thing, the YouTube things, the YouTube algorithm, which consistently didn't change. I could tell you 2009 to about 2012, 14, that was the first big change I saw. The second big change was 2012 to about 16, then 2017 to about 2019. And then literally they've come out with more stuff, more opportunities. And for the first time I made six figures on YouTube last year, because I actually was focusing. And at the time I had not one, not two, but three YouTube channels. So we had a lot of stuff going on, but and once again, I was running all three of these YouTube channels, creating course content, doing everything. And I wasn't working 40 hours a week. And I, I feel that now there are content creators who are working way more than 40 hours a week. There are some people who are working 80 hours a week. It just depends upon their content, what they have going on. But I feel that the average person wants to get into my lifestyle get into my way of doing youtube and make six figures and not be tied down to a job be tied to a schedule be tied to a curriculum and here's the thing i feel that at many points i got somewhat lucky I feel that I had a certain level of luck opportunity and I was doing something because when I first came to YouTube even though I am black my audience was 95% white and if you're a black person that talks about a topic that is pretty homogeneously white that's what you're going to get as your audience and once I you know, made a change and I started doing things, because here's what happened. I was doing well, I was making a lot of money, I was selling my book, I had my blog, my book, and there were some people who didn't like that. They, they weren't happy that I was coming on YouTube, cussing quite a bit, saying what I wanted to, and then making this money this offended a lot of white men. It offended, it's like, how the hell can you come on YouTube, say this stuff, act this way, be this way, do this way, and make money? How can you do this? So I actually switched from storage auction, resale content to business content. And that was one of my biggest mistakes. That was one of my um, biggest problems. That was that was an uh, that was an area that I really messed up because here's the thing: when I started YouTube, I didn't know YouTube. I was a 41 year old man. There was no one to talk to. Most of the YouTubers who started when I started were very young. Many of these YouTubers were in high school. So there wasn't a place for me to get optics, get information, have conversations until I started. And this is Vid Summit. And Daryl Eves is Daryl Eves is the founder of Vid Summit. And I know Daryl pretty well. And that's when I started to get YouTube integration, YouTube content youtube experience that's when i began to learn more about youtube and i remember the first time i went to vid summit i had fifty-five thousand subscribers and i was like you know i felt very much like a small youtuber not a lot going on 
and then I remember Roberto Blake was like sat down. Roberto was very, if you know Roberto, uh, he he he's he's very different in person. He's very very different. But I'll be back. Yeah, like I was saying about Roberto, very different person in person. But that's where I was um, many years ago in terms of my YouTube channel, YouTube channel growing and the things that I didn't really know about YouTube and all of the changes and stuff that I had to make. So I'm kind of giving you this from a 14 year perspective of being on YouTube, being on social media. I mean, I had Facebook groups, Facebook. I had Instagram accounts. I mean, I've done a lot in 14 years done a ton of stuff so here's the thing now one of the things I'm seeing is there are a ton of people coming on to the internet whether that's YouTube whether that's Instagram whether that's they're all coming to YouTube Instagram Facebook TikTok they're all coming on there and they're all seeking attention and there there's nothing wrong with seeking attention and trying to establish your position in the world however here's the problem and I can say this as someone who has been an influencer uh, for a long long time is most of the people who will try to create a YouTube channel, a TikTok channel, an Instagram account, a Facebook Reels group are not going to be successful. And this is one of the reasons why. In the beginning, let me go ahead and talk about the beginning of YouTube. 2009, I had a Toshiba laptop. Uh, I had, it literally took me all day to do one video. Now, right now, I can do videos off of this quite easily but back then there was no iPhone wasn't situated to be like it is today it, nothing was situated to be like it is today right so we have a lot of tools we have a lot of things established a lot of things that make making videos very easy and that is one of the reasons that the average person is not going to be successful because it is so easy. Once again, iPhone, iPhone, Android phone, these phones make incredibly well documented in depth videos, right? And that's the thing that's going to kill you because one of the things I'm seeing is there's so many people who are starting a podcast show, uh, whatever you want, whatever ideal concept you can come up with, someone out there is doing it. And they're doing it with all of this great equipment, all of this gee whiz equipment, all of this fantastic equipment that anyone who can afford a monthly cell phone plan can get access to pretty top level content for video creation on the internet. Pretty good content. Now, because everyone can get access to this content, this is why there's only going to be, uh, I'm going to give you the levels. There's the bottom level, which is going to be 80 to 90 percent of the people there's going to be the intermediate level i am at the intermediate level with only um 130 140 000 subscribers i'm at the intermediate level because i made six figures with adsense 
and then above me is the top level and that would be your Graham Stephens and there would be your other people who are doing these things so most of the folks are at that bottom level and some of them will cross over into that intermediate level and some of us in this intermediate level will cross over to that grand level but it's going to take strategy hard work purpose and alignment because once again i have not focused on youtube ever youtube has always been a driver for my other stuff i've never sat down and really thought what could i do for youtube exclusively and i'm gonna tell you why they're always changing the money with youtube always always and i refuse to put myself in the position where all of my income is going to come from a source that is going to be consistently changing it's never going to be the same and like i said they used to go many many years before they made a significant change to the platform i feel that significant changes are coming to the platform virtually every six months maybe every three to four months and you know it, it's really interesting because a lot of people want to get into content creation because they see so many of their favorite youtubers favorite people making content and it looks very easy now another thing that you have to understand if you're going to get into the content creation space is when did they start their YouTube channel and when did they get the majority of their growth that's another thing if you started your YouTube channel two years ago and you got a million subscribers you have made your content top off in a new YouTube economic situation but let's say you made most of your subscribers like five six years ago and you're, you've been consistently there you're kind of locked into that old youtube methodology because you're not growing you're not getting any more subscribers like one of the things i did recently was i, I got rid of a lot of videos and i will explain exactly why i got rid of those videos and it, it literally killed the growth of my channel because when you have a youtube channel and you go ahead and delete a bunch of videos you delete a bunch of views and in social blade it, it shows up that you just deleted a bunch of videos now once again this is a this is a six month program this isn't something that i fully expect to be what i want it to be in a few days or a few weeks i'm not looking for that um the first month is over and we're moving we're in the second month and what I understand based upon what I know is my channel is going to start really, really growing again because one of the things that I've learned over the years is when you do YouTube, your older videos count a lot on how your channel is ranked and it counts a lot for how your channel is monetized. So I got rid of all of that and on my other channel which was a personal finance channel my cpm was like 55 dollars and my rpm was like 20 27 28 bucks so we will see if those things change and i'll talk about those in the future but this is my six month plan uh, i made a lot of moves i made a lot of investigations i've um did things to get my channel in a certain place six months in the future because once again this is one of the reasons that the average person is not going to be phenomenally successful with youtube instagram TikTok, or facebook is they don't understand what they're dealing with at the moment they'll get into it they'll start putting up videos and then they'll start to see what happens once they get into it and when a lot of folks get into it because the beginning uh the beginning unless you hit the algorithm just correctly the beginning is going to suck it's just going to suck 
And that's what's going to get a lot of people off of the YouTube platform, Instagram platform, TikTok platform. Because for every star, for every person you see recognized on Google, um, I want you to take 100,000 people and throw them to the side. Because for every person who makes it, you have 100,000 or more who don't make it. And that's why I feel that this whole notion that everyone should be coming to YouTube, the internet, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook is somewhat misguided. And in time, it will sort itself out because that's what we do here in the United States of America. In time, everything sorts itself out. So it's just a matter of time for this to sort itself out because I'm getting ready to do a new level of YouTube training that's not going to be based upon the old YouTube. Now, what do I mean by that? Old YouTube is you put out something uh, very aggressive, you talk about it, and it hits the algorithm just right, and all of a sudden, you will be locked into making that type of content because that's what the algorithm recognizes as a plus from you and that's what you got to keep doing if you want to keep getting that continued algorithm success and I'm coming up with a way for you to and once again this will not be cheap this will not be something you can do free so you know for all the folks who are like yeah I'm looking for something to help me uh, you know at a minimum you're gonna need one to two thousand dollars a month at a minimum so we'll be talking about that and I'll, I'll get into that because I'm getting ready to redo everything I'm not renaming the channel the channel names will possibly <laughs> possibly stay the same but I'm getting ready to relaunch the training relaunch everything because this is now and this is the future uh, I don't think YouTube is going anywhere in the next 10 years if anything it's going to get bigger bolder stronger deafer and the sooner that you know how to utilize this and access it and to make your business better the better off for you so i'll be talking about this youtube training once i get it together once i outline it and stuff because you know i'm i'm in the process of doing it for myself and I've been doing this for a few months and the first two trainings didn't work. So that's one of the things that I can't like really get into is like, well, this doesn't work. You know, that's not going to help you. So once we get into the stuff that's working, one of the things that we're doing to facilitate that, I'll be sharing that with you. So what you want to do is go below. <coughs> I'm going to have probably some kind of sign up link where you can get on the email list so you can be advised of this when it drops so that's all i got for you guys i'll talk to you in the next one